What is Fabry disease? Fabry disease is a next linked lysosomal storage disorder. Mutations of the X chromosome result in deficiency of the lysosomal enzyme alpha-galactosidase A. Lysosomes function as the recycling centers of the cell. They contain digestive enzymes that break down substances into smaller compounds. Deficiency in this enzyme results in progressive accumulation of globotriacylceramide in lysosomes leading to organ damage and premature death in men and women. This disease causes progressive damage to different organs and tissues. As this is a rare disease, with such a wide range of symptoms, it is frequently misdiagnosed. Genetic inheritance. As the condition is caused by a DNA mutation, it is a genetic disease and therefore hereditary. Fabry disease is a next linked disease, which means that transmission is linked to gender as follows. As family members may be affected, even if they don't have obvious symptoms, it is very important to perform pedigree analysis and test relatives for Fabry disease when a diagnosis of Fabry disease has been confirmed. Fabry disease and women. In men, symptoms generally appear at an earlier age, are typically more severe and progress more quickly than in women. Women affected by Fabry disease normally become symptomatic when they are adults. The symptoms are less severe than in men, which is why female patients are often misdiagnosed. Signs and symptoms. Early symptoms of Fabry disease often appear in childhood and include acute pain in the extremities, fatigue, intolerance of physical exertion, hypohydrosis, gastrointestinal problems, and angiokeratoma. Patients with Fabry disease are also particularly affected by sudden changes in temperature or extreme temperatures. Symptoms that can be present in a large proportion of patients with Fabry disease include stress and fever. However, Fabry disease affects different organs, which require specific treatment. Disease progression leads to a variety of systemic manifestations, including manifestations of the nervous system, kidneys, eyes, skin, gastrointestinal tract, and heart. In addition to physical symptoms, Many patients with Fabry disease also suffer from depression, which is caused by factors such as decreased quality of life. Also, patients often feel isolated and have to deal with a lack of understanding for their condition. Early diagnosis is therefore essential. Patients with Fabry disease can lead a normal life. It is important that patients describe all of their symptoms during medical visits. This includes telling their doctor how often their symptoms occur and how severe they are. Learning about Fabry disease can help patients gain a better understanding of their condition and how to manage it. The Fabry disease community can provide valuable support and information to patients and their families. But patients also need to be committed to looking after their health all the above may enable patients with Fabry disease to lead a normal life. 